Today we're going to do a beginner's five minute workout. And if you're a beginner, awesome. I am glad you're moving your body. I promise not to make it too hard. I would say rest if you need to, but it's really five minutes so you can do anything. We are going to start just a little march, marching in place, up nice and tall. Think about keeping your core tight. What do I mean? If somebody's going to come up and pat your tummy, you would hold it nice and tight. So you're just doing a little march, that's it, and moving your arms uh, 90 degrees, that's all. For 800 more counts, no, 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 just four more, just like that. There's three, two, now I want you to get a great big deep breath in as you march, and back out, breathing so, so important. Great big deep breath in, and out. One more time, great big deep breath in, and out. Now give me a little step touch right here. The only thing we're gonna use today is, I have two jars of salsa. You can get two cans. If you don't have them now, you can run and get them. That will be included in your warm up. Two cans out of your cupboards. If you have very light weights, you can get those. Anything is fine. It's for beginners. Don't feel like you have to have five pound weights or 10 pound weights. Today, we are just moving your body. That's it. We're gonna do just four more, just like that. There's three. You tell you to be an old teacher. Here's two. I can't do anything without counting. There's one. Now we're gonna be, in, I, you also need a chair. You're gonna be in front of the chair and just do a little half squat. Now we squat every day. Every time you sit in a chair, every time you go to the bathroom, you squat, totally normal. These are just little half squats to just see you warmed up. We're gonna do four more just like that, and then the real work starts, and really almost two minutes have gone by, so it's a really, really quick workout. I just wanna get you moving. Just one more. Come on up, now grab your cans or your jars or your light weights. I have a Trader Joe's salsa and pepita sauce. Every time you stand up, keep a little bit in your knees. Arms are at goal pose, not down here or here. One arm at a time, come up and down. Then when you do that, keep that core nice and tight. We're not gonna do a ton. If it's super easy and you can do 100, then it might be time to invest in some weights. I'm only going one arm at a time just because we're just getting started. If it's super easy for you, guess what? You can totally do two at a time, but just for now, we're gonna do one more on each side for and hang on to them. Now hold those right here. That chair is behind you. Tap your butt and come up. That is a sneaky way to make you get a bigger range of motion on your squat. If the chair wasn't there, you might not go quite as far back. And I don't ever want you to stop squatting. So, so important with everything we do. We only do two more just like that. And they'll go back to the overhead press. Last one right here. Back to gold post arms. Again, if this is super easy, Two at a time, absolutely great. If not, this is a great place to start. And please, please, please be kind to yourself. Everybody has a place to start. No comparing yourself, no being mean in your head. Oh my gosh, you are here working, which is all that I want you to do. We're gonna do one more on each side, that's it. Keep those knees bent and come back to the center. Hands here, you can have your, your hands, your weights here. More comfortable right here, whatever works for you. And come back and squat. Now when you're squatting, I want you to face me the whole time. It is very easy to do this. Uh-uh, that is not working what I want to work. We are going to do just five more just like that. Touch that butt every single time. You're not resting, you're just doing a little tiny touch. We're gonna do three more right there. There's three, there's two, one more. Now I'm gonna kinda come to the side a little bit. Arms are gonna be straight down. One arm at a time, come straight back. You may have heard of the term bingo arms. Bingo arms are the back part of our arms, our triceps. Now, this might be hard even with jars only or cans only because in everyday life, women do not use our triceps. So I always wanna to try to include triceps in all of our work. We're gonna do four more like that. There's three. There's two, actually we have to do two more because I don't want to end on just one side. Last one, we're going to do only one side of these. Jars together, come to the side. We're going to come down, jars or weights just to your knees and come on up. It's a little tiny baby deadlift and come up with squat work the front part of your legs. This baby deadlift works the back part, your butt and your hamstrings unless you don't want to work those. If you don't want to work those, then just hang out here and wait. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're gonna do four more just like that, and then we are done. That will be your beginning workout done for the day. 
We're gonna do two more after this. Keep that back nice and straight. Here's two. Last one right here. And that is it. If you feel amazing and think, okay, Pam, I can do more, do it again. And then do one of the stretch videos. Please stretch every time after your workout. Great job, and hope to see you back again tomorrow.